St. Louis has so much to be proud of, from our history and culture to dining and entertainment. And at the corner of Del Mar and Beaumont in the city is where one of the kings of music lived. Scott Joplin achieved fame for his ragtime music. Tonight, Steve Harris takes us to where Joplin crafted memorable tunes. So here's a little tune that might sound familiar to you. Yeah, you like it? It's called Maple Leaf Rag. It's written by a guy you probably also heard of named Scott Joplin, guy who lived on the second floor of that house right there. Born in Texas in 1868, Scott Joplin is known as the king of ragtime. Ragtime uh, goes on to be the basis of the blues and jazz and up to rap. Now this state historic site is on the National Register of Historic Places. This is the only house or place in the United States that Scott Joplin lived that still exists that we know of. Believe it or not, several years ago it was slated to be torn down like other buildings in the area. When they were coming down this way, someone discovered that Scott Joplin had lived here because he was in a directory. And so when that directory um, made them realize this was a treasure. So that's how it didn't get torn down. A tour of the house is a step back in time. All of this is an estimation of what it might have looked like at the time. Joplin rented a room upstairs from 1901 to 1903. By the time he came here, he was a little bit of a celebrity. Even so, this 16 square foot room is the one they believe was his. Not very big for a big time composer. While he was living here, he wrote another little song you might recognize. The Entertainer, made famous when it was used as the theme from the movie The Sting. From Paul Newman and Robert Redford to a cartoon character. Watching uh, SpongeBob SquarePants, he comes on in the morning, and the pineapple rag was played by Squiggly. Joplin's melodies made the rounds. That's why this place is so important. I think it's important to preserve uh, the cultural aspect of the integrity of the neighborhood. Look around, everything else has been torn down. It shows contributions of uh, an African-American, a successful person at that turn of the century, not even this one. To hear his work and realize he lived here in our city, in this room, in this house, that's something to be proud of. Steve Harris, News 4.